Tropical cyclones on Earth are some of the biggest natural disasters we face, with some of the worst case tropical cyclones killing millions and others costing over $100 billion in damage. However, these disasters pale in comparison to a planet-ending class of cyclone. This phenomenon is known as the Hypercane. A hypercane is a deceptively powerful class of cyclone, only 25 kilometers in size. To put that into perspective, its size would not exceed that of the world's smallest cyclone, Tropical Storm Marco, at 37 kilometers. Hypercanes are currently theoretical, as the conditions for one are not currently present on Earth. Ocean temperatures would need to be 15 degrees above the warmest recorded temperature on record. Such a rise is entirely possible through massive volcanic eruptions, an asteroid or comet impact, or through accelerated global warming. This tiny storm occurred long ago in the past, when such devastating disasters have occurred. However, despite its small size, this is where any notion of a hypercane being less severe than a cyclone end. A hypercane is much, much more powerful than the most strongest of storms. It would have wind speeds of 800 kilometers per hour, with gusts reaching an incredibly terrifying 970 kilometers an hour. The tropical cyclone with the fastest ever recorded winds, for comparison, was Hurricane Patricia in 2015, with wind speeds of up to 345 kilometers an hour recorded, not even half of what a hypercane could produce. Furthermore, pressure in the eye of the hypercane would be much lower than any cyclone, allowing a lifespan of several weeks. On top of this, multiple hypercanes could form at once, as the hot waters where one was formed could create more. So waiting out such a storm would not be a viable option, as if the killer winds weren't problematic enough. If deadly wind speeds and record lifespans were dangerous, hypercanes become apocalyptic once their most deadly feature is considered. These storms reach up to 40 kilometers in the atmosphere, much higher than any modern day cyclone. And at these heights, water molecules can interact with ozone to severely damage the ozone layer. As ozone is depleted and water levels rise in the atmosphere, the planet would begin to heat up and deadly UV radiation would damage life on Earth. Such a tiny storm would in fact devastate the entire planet. This damage is so tremendous that some scientists believe it could have been the finishing blow to the dinosaurs after the impact that devastated the planet. When the asteroidal comet that struck the Earth 66 million years ago occurred, it devastated the ecosystem and produced catastrophic results for life on Earth. However, it's possible that the dinosaurs could have survived this, and what truly did them in was the apocalyptic hypercane that followed. So. While the hypercane is a terrifying class of storm, there is no current need to worry. Barring an asteroid or supervolcanic eruption, it's unlikely that one will occur anytime soon. Hypercanes will remain deep in the history books of Earth for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.